Uh, well, I'm Stephen Howes and I'm a Professor of Economics here at the Crawford School and uh, I direct the Development Policy Centre, which is based at the Crawford School. Yeah, we set up the Develop Development Policy Centre two years ago in September 2010 and we really set it up uh, with three main objectives. The first is to work on issues around aid effectiveness. So as you might know, the amount of aid Australia's, Australia gives to developing countries has really shot up. It's more than doubled over the last few years. And we thought there was a real need for more research uh, and analysis around the effectiveness of that aid. Then the second area relates to Pacific and PNG and the economic development of that region. That's been a traditional strength of the Crawford School and we wanted to maintain that tradition. It's an area that's really important for Australia. Yeah, and the third area is a general one which we call development policy which is uh, often about links between developed and developing countries apart from aid. So we look at things like migration uh, and trade. So those three areas together, aid effectiveness, specific PNG, development policy more broadly, are the areas that we work on at the Development Policy Centre. Well, there are lots of challenges, I think, but um, you know, I think first and foremost, it's still the one which led to us setting up the centre, which is that traditionally, you know, aid's been a bit of a sleeper in Australia. No one's paid it much attention. You know, if you think that lots of people uh, looking at things like defence policy, international relations, uh, rise of China, but very few people actually looking at aid, and that's probably because if you look back from the whole period 1970 to 2000, you see very little increase in the aid budget. So it was a very, uh, not stagnant, but kind of stable uh, environment, uh, in, tucked away in a, little, in a little corner, few people paid attention. But yeah, since 2000, we have seen this massive scale up uh, in aid, and more uh, government, in fact, has, has promised more aid in the future. So I think, you know, the overriding challenge is to kind of catch up with what's happening, I mean happening in the public policy space, and give aid the attention uh, it deserves now that it is a, a much bigger, um, or I'll say it's a much bigger agency and aid spending in general is a much bigger call on uh, total government spending than it used to be. So I think uh, catching up with the importance of aid, um, getting the research done and then getting public discussion going. Uh, because too often I think, you know, whatever little discussion of aid there is tends to be very sensationalist, it's about money being wasted, uh, aid corruption. Um, so we want to get beyond those kind of headlines and, and really look at you know, what sort of aid is working, what isn't, what should we do more of, what should we do less of. Yeah, so that uh, you know, contribution is really fundamental and uh, critical for our future. I guess what, what we tried to do in the first couple of years was just prove that uh, such a centre uh, could establish itself and uh, make a contribution. A lot of people were sceptical that uh, Australia was big enough to support this kind of effort. Um, you know, the United States, the UK, Canada, they all have these kind of think tanks that work around aid and development issues. So we wanted to prove that now, you know, Australia was big enough to support such a centre and I think we've proven we can. Uh, you know, we, we've been quite successful, I think, in generating the kind of research and debate that we wanted to. And I think now we are recognised as uh, the place in Australia where you know, leading aid um, thinking happens. Um, but yeah, going forward, we need to have a sustainable source of funding. And uh, it's very important for our role that we be independent, and in particular, independent of AusAid. Uh, not because, you know, we're hostile to AusAid at all, but just because if we're going to be a credible, uh, reputable commentator, uh, we need to make sure our independence is, uh, is guaranteed. And so that's why getting funding uh, from a source other than AusAid is really important to us. And so getting funding from the Harold Mitchell Foundation um, is really important from that point of view. I think the other thing I'd say is that, you know, we want to be, you know, we're in a pub public policy school. We're, we're like a think tank. So as well as doing really good research, we also want to host events. We have a blog. Um, so we promote, we have a public discussion role. And so from that point of view, uh, you know, it's really good to get funding that we can use you know, not only for our research but also to support uh, things, like our, things like our blog. So the flexibility uh, provided by the Harold Mitchell uh, funding uh, is really important to us as well as the, uh, the independence that it will it'll give us.